to show you a few tips and tricks on how to create bookmark and thumbnails. It is a very easy process, but it would help your field team and your team members to find documents very easily. So let's just jump into a blue beam together so we can start the process. In order to create the bookmark, let's go to the bookmark tab. Um, you see two options. One of them is just adding label, which is going to be page by page. And the next option would be just create a bookmark for a page range. Um, right here, we click on page region. We hit select. Um, the tip one is make sure you get the box as big as you can to capture everything because some sheet have different size or there's like a different sheet number the size and titles are different so when you use the box make sure you make them as big as possible when you do the first one you can see the preview how that should look like you can customize it you can use dot hyphens or anything that you like I'm gonna use just a simple hyphen and add um, next one I want to add the sheet title I want to make the box as big as possible so it captures all the uh, names and letters and, and everything and all other sheets after this you can see the preview if you're happy you can okay but you can add more info to your selection you can add the project number you add project location so whatever you have on the sheets and it's available you can basically add those region to your selection after this done you can hit ok goes back to the next uh, previous page is going to ask you what is the page range that you want Bluebeam to apply the selection to um, so I have 60 sheets so I would like to add all of them um, I'm gonna add ok and it's gonna take a few seconds it depends on how many sheets you have sometimes it might take a little bit longer to basically generate all of them so you can see right here on the left hand side in a bookmark I have all the sheet numbers and the sheet names uh, in my set a quick tip is sometimes you use this bookmark but um, some of the sheets might have a different layout or different titles for instance several drawings probably have a different layout for the location of the sheet title and the sheet name and when you see uh when you finish with bookmark you won't see those numbers here so you need to kind of repeat that process for only uh several sheets and basically use the page range to put a proper naming over there so it's going to basically run it one more time you give it a page range and it's going to give you exactly where it's supposed to be uh, for the civil sheet versus the architectural sheet so when you just uh, when you're done you can see everything you can also take uh, these to a next level you can make it more organized you can go to that page label I can add before and I can call these G series and I can basically select all my G sheets and place them under the G series. So right now you guys can see it's gonna be more organized. So all the G's is under the G series and basically I can have that uh, a little drop down. Basically it's gonna make it smaller or bigger. It's gonna be easier for me to identify. And again, you wanna make it a little bit more um, organized. You can assign colors to it. Um, so you can color code for better recognition by the reader um, and then in order to do that you can right click on it you can go to properties and basically right here you can see this is a title for the sheets and what color you want it to be let's say i want to make it green so you guys see that basically i try to organize the whole set and all the sheets that i have and all the g series will be color coded under the g all the civil set is going to be color coded under the civil and the landscape is going to be color coded under the landscape and um, this is going to help um, the reader identify those areas real quick and basically go to the important sheets that they want you can apply the same process to thumbnails so thumbnails basically have the same process as the bookmarks uh, what you can do you can go to create page label um, if you have the bookmark selected and hit ok uh, basically 
thumbnails is going to copy and paste whatever you have on the bookmark side and it's going to apply it uh, to your thumbnails but if you want to have a different uh, label for your thumbnails you follow the same process page region select um, I want to just do the sheet number and I want to do the project sheet uh, name um, so I can see both or you can only just use the sheet number um, it's up to you and then you can hit OK so when you hit OK page range I need all the sheets and it's gonna take a few minutes um, to process sometimes you do this and you won't see anything over here um, in order to see this you need to go to the labels so they have a label here make sure the page label is checked so as soon as you check everything will be um, visible and you can see everything has been labeled for you the next item and is a quick tip if you um, scaled any page if you come to the thumbnails and then check this one it basically tells you what sheet has been scaled so if you if you have some sheets that you work on and you scale it that we're gonna um, go through those process later on but if you want to see the scale make sure uh, you turn that on it tells you what sheet has been scaled and it's gonna be a real be a really easy to be identified Thank you guys for watching today's video. I am hoping that I was able to add one tool to your tool set that you could implement in your daily workflow. If you like the content, please subscribe and stay tuned for future videos. Thank you.